No matter how long you've been fishing, whether you're just a beginner or you're a veteran, you may have sat there and thought to yourself what it would be like to make money fishing or even make a living from fishing. So today I wanna to tell you of 10 legit ways that you can make money fishing or at least in the fishing industry. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Now the first couple of ways that you can make money fishing are ways that a lot of people know, but they are legitimate ways to make money in the fishing industry. The first one is to actually start some sort of business around fishing. Now this company could be a number of different things. It could be a, a lure company. You know, I know a couple of different people who actually just make jigs on the side and they sell them and they make a lot of money doing that. Now those are businesses that you would kind of expect in the fishing industry, but you know, in today's age with so much content creation that's happening, there's a big need in the fishing industry for guys who know how to work a video camera and guys who can edit. And if you really think about it, there may be something that you're really good at that you can apply to the fishing industry and make money. It's not always just the normal things like lure manufacturers and line manufacturers manufacturers and rod builders and things like that. Now, another way that you can make money in fishing is actually being a guide. There's a ton of different guides all across the nation that literally take clients out on the water and teach them how to fish and help them to catch bass. Now, in order to start a guide service, I do believe you need a captain's license. You're probably gonna wanna get an LLC, but this is something where you are legitimately going to be fishing every single day. Like you're going to be out there just catching bass, helping people catch bass, and you're gonna get paid to do it. Now, in order to do this the best and to make the most money, you really wanna live near a lake that's kind of a destination lake for bass fishing. You know, lakes like Lake Okeechobee, Lake Toho, Lake Gunnersville, maybe Clear Lake out in California. There's a ton of destination lakes that guys are constantly looking for people to take them out on the water. I actually know a person who moved down to Florida just to be a guide. And they're loving life, they're making money, they're fishing every single day. Now, another way that you can make money in the fishing industry is doing what I'm doing right now, and that's being a content creator. Now, obviously, I make most of my content for YouTube, but there's a ton of different types of content that you can make, not just videos. A lot of guys may think that it's too late for them to be a fisherman on YouTube. And I'm gonna let you know that it's never too late to start a YouTube channel. In business, you know, and I'm talking about YouTube being a business, you can be the first, you can be the best, or you can be different. And obviously you're not gonna be the first YouTube fishing channel, but maybe you wanna try to be the best. That's something I try to strive for on this channel is try to be the best education bass fishing channel that there is. Or sometimes being different is huge. You know, if you don't do something the same way that everyone else does it, people can grasp onto that. So it's never too late to start a YouTube channel. Speaking of content, I gotta get out of the wind because I'm sure that that's not sounding great. You know, creating content is not just limited to creating YouTube videos. Videos. There's a number of other ways that you can create content and actually get paid and make money doing so. For instance, you can start an Instagram account. You know, if you have an Instagram account that has thousands and thousands of followers, you're gonna be able to monetize that, you're gonna be able to get some sponsorships, and you're gonna be able to make some money from that. Another huge one is podcasts. There's a lot of great podcasts out there, like Bass Talk Live is probably one of my favorite ones. I listen to Bass University's podcast. I listen to Luke Duncan's podcast. There's a ton of different podcasts that are out there and you can make some good money. You actually make more money per view of a podcast than you do on YouTube. So podcasters can also make a living talking about fishing. Now, another way that you can actually make money fishing is through affiliate marketing. If you guys are unaware of what affiliate marketing is, pretty much anytime you watch something on YouTube these days, guys are gonna recommend certain products and services that are down below in the description. Now, if people click on those links and they go and they purchase something, for instance, since at Sportsman's Outfitters, I'm gonna get a small percentage of that sale. Now, obviously, I have a little bit of a following on YouTube, but even if you don't, maybe you have an Instagram where you have a couple hundred guys that follow you on there, or maybe you're just getting started with a channel or a podcast or something like that, you wanna start early with affiliate marketing because otherwise you're just gonna leave money out there 
on the table. Now there are several different companies that you can do affiliate marketing through. You really just have to do a little research. You know, Amazon is a huge one. You can, you can sign up for an Amazon affiliate account and you can make money off of recommending different products on Amazon. Now another one that's really easy to get started with is actually Sportsman's Outfitters affiliate program. Literally anybody can sign up for this. So you can even recommend products on your Facebook. And if people buy things that you recommend, you're gonna get a certain cut of that money. Now, obviously the bigger the following you have, the more money you can make. But no matter what, you're gonna be able to make a little bit of extra cash by just simply recommending products that you use and that you trust and that you love. I'm actually gonna leave a link down below for the Sportsman's Outfitters affiliate program. If you guys are watching this and that is something that interests you click that link down below and you can actually sign up for the affiliate program there and start making a little extra cash we are back in the truck again because it is absolutely freezing outside right now even though it may not look like it but let's get on to the next way that you can make money fishing and this is actually through tournament fishing now i know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking is that it's hard to make money in tournament fishing and you're absolutely right there's a ton of pros out there who you know they might make 60 70 thousand dollars a year fishing tournaments but they're also spending 50 or sixty thousand dollars just to do so so they're really not making a lot of money especially if they don't have some sort of sponsorships but the thing is is it's actually easier for the local tournament fishermen to actually make some decent side money tournament fishing you know for instance me and my partner we fish a ton on a certain lake here in ohio and i'm gonna be honest we profit we make pretty good money every single year now it's not enough to live on there's not a ton of big tournaments that happen at this lake it's only a 3500 acre lake but we always make a decent amount of money every single year that can pay for a lot of fishing expenses but there actually are certain areas of the country you know places like in alabama places like in texas you know places in the carolinas where you can actually make a living being a local angler by just fishing all the biggest tournaments that are around your area and if you can do well you can actually make pretty good money doing it i actually just listened to to a video that Todd Castledine put together. And Todd Castledine is, in my mind, he's a professional fisherman, although he's kind of just fishing a lot in Texas right now. But he came out with a video where he kind of talked about the money that he made. I think it's a great video. And again, he fished primarily locally. So as a local angler, if you can stay on fish, you can actually make some pretty good money bass fishing without being a huge pro and having all kinds of expenses to go with it. Now, the next way to make money in the fishing industry is another form of content creation. But the reason that I left it out kind of separately is because it's really its own form of content and that's creating a website or a blog. A blog style website is basically where you write a ton of articles and you try to get those articles ranked in Google for certain search terms. So you could write an article about how to fish a chatterbait or how to fish a jig and it can all be in written form. But once those articles start to get ranked high in Google, you're actually gonna get a lot of search traffic and you can monetize that search traffic. You can place ads on your blog and, and make money that way. You can also do the affiliate stuff that we talked about earlier where you can recommend certain products and actually make money from the blog itself. Now getting articles to rank on Google, although the concept sounds easy, it's really not. It takes a lot of time to get those articles. You may write, write an awesome article on how to fish a lizard, but it may take up to a year for that article to really start getting some search traffic. But if you stay consistent at it and you write you know, a couple articles every single week for an entire year, by the end of that year, you're gonna have over 100 different articles on your website, and that's really gonna start picking up a lot of traffic that you can monetize, and literally, you're going to make passive income from fishing and talking and writing about fishing. Now, if you like to write and write articles, you can actually create an ebook. This is another way that you can legitimately make money fishing is creating an ebook and then selling it. And you can create this on anything. Maybe you live 
in Tennessee and you want to create an ebook all about Tennessee bass fishing, or maybe you live in Florida and you want to create an ebook about Florida bass fishing, maybe you want to create an ebook about a certain type of lure, whatever it may be, you can create an ebook and you can sell it for $15 for $20. And the best thing about it is it's a digital product, it's not a physical product. You could get certain people to endorse this ebook, maybe a certain person who has a lot of followers on YouTube or on Instagram, and actually get them to sell your ebook, give them a cut of that money, and obviously you get some too. So creating an ebook is another thing that you can do in your spare time. You know, right now it's the winter, maybe you write an ebook right now, so that come springtime, you can actually put it out there for the world to see. Another way that you can legitimately make money in fishing and talking about fishing is becoming a public speaker. This may be something that you're already doing, but if you kind of just critique it to be more about fishing, there's actually a lot of different trade shows and boat shows that happen all across the nation that you can actually be that guy who's on top of the hog trough or whatever occasion it may be. And you're going to be making money while talking about fishing because you're a public speaker. I actually got asked by a small sports club here in Ohio just to come and give a presentation to about 15 or 20 guys and they paid me me to do it. So if you're a public speaker, one, you're going to present and talk better than I do because I am not a public speaker at all. But you can actually make some money talking about fishing at trade shows, boat shows, all over the place. And it's a legit way to make money in the fishing industry. Now, the last two ways are going to require quite a bit of resources. Maybe you own a bunch of land. Maybe you have a lot of money, whatever it may be. If you're watching this and that's you, this is something that you can do to make money in the fishing industry. And the first one is actually going to be creating a fish farm. This is where you're going to actually have a bunch of different ponds where you grow and breed fish that you then sell. Yeah, it's not exactly catching fish, but this is a legit way to make money in the fishing industry. Now, like I said, it's gonna require land, it's gonna require resources. Not only are you gonna to have to create a company, but you're gonna to have to get people to come out and take a look at your property in order to possibly dig a pond or a lake, whatever it may be. But you never know who's gonna to listen to this channel. And if that's you, that may be something that you're interested in and something that you can do to make money in the fishing industry. Now, the last way is kind of in the same realm of things. And again, you're gonna to have to have property. And and you may or may not have to dig an entire lake, but this is actually creating a pay lake. You know, there's a lot of different pay lakes across the country where guys pay money to go fishing. And you see a lot of this for species like catfish, you know, and you can do it for all different species, but there are a few pay lakes for bass that people are willing to pay a pretty good amount of money just to go out there and catch some big bass. If you guys stay to the end of this video, don't forget to check out Sportsman's Outfitters affiliate program if you wanna make an extra couple of bucks. And obviously I was doing a little fishing out here while it's really, really cold. If you guys wanna learn how to fish a jerk bait in really, really cold water, you can click this video right there and I'm gonna show you exactly how to fish a jerk bait in cold water. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.